today we're starting a vlog and it is a travel vlog and we are going somewhere very exciting so got my stuff packed i'm about to hit the road to go to what i think of as the town owned by nora roberts but specifically to the inn owned by nora roberts uh, that is featured in this particular trilogy the inn boonesboro novels because me and my best friend Bess decided that we wanted to do some leaf peeping this year. Uh, we're embracing fall. We wanted to take a road trip and it occurred to me that in Bo Boonesboro is in good leaf peeping territory because it is in Western Maryland, Western slash like Northern. It's close to Pennsylvania. Yeah, so I'm very excited. I am about to finish getting the kitty situated, and then I am hitting the road today to join Bess at her home, and then we will go from there tomorrow to drive to the end. So, will I find love in this small town? I will definitely be reading these three books, so come along for the journey. setting up for it with some wine in the library. Good drive. Um, more traffic than we wanted and we found a very poorly designed intersection that we would like to write the state of Virginia about. Um, but other than that, not, not too bad. did not give you a room tour and the room is currently in a state of disarray so please forgive that but this is the gorgeous gigantic bed as evidenced by the need for a stool to get into it and considering that I am a little short potato I definitely need that um, but it is beautiful it has great light um, and also a little opening onto a porch TV and then look at how beautiful this fireplace is and there's the fainting couch that you can use to enjoy that desk secretary desk thing so this is a really nicely sized room there's some fresh flowers that they left for me which are beautiful so yeah so it's a very nicely appointed room and then the bathroom is gigantic and very nice. So, new obsession unlocked is the jet situation. I've never understood why people would do that, but it allows you to take a shower without getting your hair wet, which is a cultural reset for me. Um, there's a bidet, which I appreciate. And then check out this gigantic tub. It's hard to get backed up to see how big this thing is but a beautiful copper tub so yeah this is a beautiful room oh yeah and there's like a the floors are heated and there's a towel 
heater, which you get more in Europe, I have found, but is not as common here in the States. So this is the Jane in Rochester room. Bess has the Elizabeth and Darcy. And then there is the note from Nora. It's a little notebook where people leave their feedback, which I think is sweet. So yeah, I am very impressed with my room. As much as you can carry? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm, I have to read all of these at some point. So they're $5 each. It's a and I would actually be losing money if I did not buy these instead of get them from the library. Well argued. <laughs> Enjoying the town, did a little shopping, you know, just visited with each other. And I did finish the first in Boonesboro book, which is the next always. And this is so fun to read while you are staying here because it's literally, I mean, it is the end. I believe that she incorporated the things that were actually happening when they were renovating the end into these books. So yeah, it's just, it's very fun. You see all of the like spots that they're talking about. And I don't know, I really, really enjoyed this. So I gave this four stars. This first one, so it's a trilogy. There are three brothers who, the Montgomery brothers, and they are renovating this inn. Each of them is gonna have a romance. The first, this first one is with Beckett. I forget what birth, I don't know that it really specifies what the birth order is, um, but he is an architect. He's the architect of their little construction firm. And he um, has had a thing for this woman named Claire his whole life, but she fell in love with this guy and, and got married like super young. So it was sort of like 
puppy looked like he had a crush on her and it never went anywhere. Then her husband was killed in Iraq and, moved, you know, she and her three boys moved back to Boonesboro. She is running the local bookstore, which is the actual bookstore we were at yesterday, um, but in this version of Boonesboro. Claire runs it. He, you know, they've been friends and then one day, like, they have kind of a charged moment and it's like, okay, now's the time. So it's them having a romance. There's a little bit of a romantic suspense element in here. There's also a paranormal element in these books because they're, the inn is definitely haunted. And I gave Bez a heads up because it is her room that is haunted. It's the Elizabeth and Darcy room, so fun times. But yeah, four stars. I thought this was a really good version of a Nora Roberts contemporary. Yeah, it was just, it has that reno, like home reno, porn thing she does well. It has the small town feels. It has the family dynamics. Like, it's just really good. So I'm hoping I can start and maybe even finish um, the second book today. I think the second book is with local pizzeria owner and the brother who is sort of like their overall like business manager for the business. So we'll see. But yeah, I slept well. I, these beds are so comfy. <sighs> I slept well, and now, and go to breakfast, which is so amazingly delicious every day. So I'm gonna go do that, and we'll see what the day ends up holding for us. Okay, so leaving the Jane and Rochester, you have a little balcony area. Up there is the penthouse and the innkeeper quarters. And then that is the even rock room. Bessifer P. Me. Jones. Hello. Hello. What you reading? I'm reading Bed of Roses. Aw. Yeah. I think that's by Nora. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the library. Last Boyfriend, which is book number two. And I think I thought, I thought this was book three, but it's book two. I didn't like it quite as much as the first one, but it's still really good. There is increasingly a paranormal element, which if you guys know my taste in Nora Roberts books, you know that that is not my favorite mode from her, but it's mostly still cute. So 
I'll go with it. Um, but yeah, I would also give this four stars. It's solid. It's fun. It's like a friends to lovers. And yeah, the third book is definitely going to be between two people who do not like each other. But I have a sneaking suspicion that they have a paranormal faded situation. So God help us. We'll see how that goes. Um, Bess and I spent all day reading. It was lovely. And now we're going to go have a fancy dinner. And then tomorrow we drive home. So wish us luck. Well, I'm back in my casa and I did finish The Perfect Hope once I got back. And I think that this is a really, you know, satisfying, fitting conclusion to the trilogy. I will say that this is a book that I would definitely not recommend reading as a standalone because the romance, I think, is wholly unsatisfying if you have not seen the characters before. I think in the book the character development is pretty underbaked, but in the context of the trilogy you don't really need more because you've already seen a lot from these characters, so just know that. Um, don't read this as a standalone, but I really ultimately liked the dynamic between Hope and Ryder. I think um, it was kind of, I liked basically the dynamic between them is that he keeps expecting her to do something that's going to put him off and she keeps being perfect. Um, and he kind of is like suspicious of that. And it's not that she's actually perfect. It's just that like they're a super good match. <laughs> so the way she is is perfect for him. Um, so I thought that was sweet. I thought that the um, paranormal element, while over the top, I thought didn't go the direction I was worried it was going to go. So I frankly was just relieved about that and thought that was satisfying. Yeah, I just thought that this was really good. I would say that the individual books, I would each give them four stars, but as a whole, I would give it four and a half. I think as a trilogy, it's a super satisfying Nora Roberts contemporary trilogy that I would definitely recommend if this is your kind of book. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So with that being said, how would I um, rate my overall experience at in Boonesboro? Me and Bess had an amazing time. We had such a good time. The inn itself, hopefully you can tell from the footage, is lovely. And it definitely feels very... It feels like a treat. So it is not a cheap place to stay, but I felt like it was well worth it, especially considering how yummy the breakfasts are. The breakfast is superb, and I really like <clears throat> that it feels, I don't know, it felt like a really nice kind of in-between point of staying in a hotel versus an Airbnb because they were great about having like snacks available. They had drinks all the time, non-alcoholic, but then they also did have alcoholic <laughs> drinks. They had like the wine and cheese hour. Um, there was a fridge you could use, a microwave. So like you get kind of the like less structured food situation, which is nice in an Airbnb, but you know, it's beautifully appointed. Um, the beds were beyond comfortable. Oh my God, like I slept like a log. It had a bidet, which I love, the beautiful tubs. And then can I just tell you the four jets in the shower are a cultural reset for me. Like I'm literally sitting here like, okay, I think I need to start like a little fund of like little renovation in my house to get these four jets going. Because like the way that it allows you to take a shower without getting your hair wet was incredible for me. So um, I really liked that. It felt very luxe, you know what I mean? But like not fancy if that makes sense. It felt luxurious and like a treat without feeling stuffy and like not, I don't know. That's just not the vibe I enjoy. I like, I like things to feel nice without feeling stuffy. And that's what this was. I had the nice fireplaces. I felt like the common areas were, I just, I would recommend, uh, completely apart from the Nora Roberts bit, I would totally recommend this as an Airbnb experience. If you're going to be in the area, if you're like us and you love the fall and you're going to do some leaf peeping, which I feel like I didn't show you guys enough of because frankly, we were just actually enjoying the beautiful leaves. But um, yeah, it was beautiful. I will say the town of Boonesboro didn't have quite as much to it as I was hoping. But I think if you take it in the context of the surrounding area, there is definitely like 
plenty to see and do. We were much more in relaxation and chatting mode because we don't get to be together in person all the time. So we ended up taking two days to basically just, you know, sit with each other and read and chat and enjoy the fire and get a little bit of work done. And yeah, so from that perspective, it was the perfect location for us. Yeah, so I mean, we had an amazing trip. We had a great time and I would definitely highly recommend this Certainly if you're a Nora Roberts fan and you have either read the trilogy or I highly recommend what I did, which was reading the trilogy while there. That was so fun just to see how everything tied in together uh, and to actually like be in the place that is being described was just really fun. So I highly recommend it for Nora Roberts fans. But like I said, if you just like a nice Airbnb, I think you could do a lot worse. Like this was nice. And um, I think the rooms for what they were, I felt like the rooms were pretty reasonably priced. All that to say, I I had a great time. I recommend it. And I feel like this was, you know, on my bucket list of like bookish things I wanted to do. So I appreciate Bess, you know, indulging me and <laughs> going to this, the town that Nora Roberts owns is how I've always talked about it. And it kind of is. I mean, she, she seems to own like the main things in the downtown area, but you know, the, certainly the inn that Nora Roberts owns. So yeah, that was super fun and a nice nerdy bookish little vacay. So uh, let me know if you have been to the Inn Boonesboro. Let me know what you thought about it. If you've read the books, let me know about that. I think that this is a very well-loved trilogy from Nora Roberts. So yeah, I think that will do it for me though. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social means if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below and I think that that will do it. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day today and I will just talk to you soon. Bye!